station putting local first. This is KTSM 9 News Weekend. Good evening. Thanks for choosing KTSM 9 News Weekend. I'm Stephanie Saford. Presidential hopeful Beth O'Rourke setting the stage for his 2020 White House run in the streets of downtown El Paso, just a few streets away from the U.S.-Mexico border. And we brought you complete coverage on air and online as thousands gathered for what they call a historic event. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields was there. She joins us now. Not only is O'Rourke the first El Pasoan to run for president under a major party, but he also kicked off his campaign here in his hometown, which he says is the reason he's running. I am so grateful to be able to run to serve you as the next president of the United States of America. In a nearly 40-minute speech, former El Paso Congressman Beth O'Rourke spoke to more than 6,000 people in the downtown streets of his hometown. This is hope for me. I know Beto from a long time ago. I've seen him serve our community year after year um, tirelessly. Beto is a strong progressive and he is a, um, a beacon of hope for um, in, in the U.S. A work addressing issues close to home of border security and immigration while also covering his support for universal health care and women's reproductive rights, among other topics. As president, I will sign into law a new Voting Rights Act. Together, we will end gerrymandering. A former city councilman and congressman with an unsuccessful Senate run under his belt, O'Rourke is pushing towards high voting rates and accessibility. Well, I want her to know that her parents understood the right and the privilege it was for her to be able to vote, that we're leading by example. These are future generations, and we definitely want to spread a message of love and equality, and I think that's one of the reasons why Beto's running. And perhaps most importantly, El Paso to me represents America at its very best. Right after this rally, O'Rourke jumped on a commercial flight to Houston for a second rally and finished the date with the third one in Austin this evening. Live in the studio, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. Stephanie, thank you. And just one